All right, hello. Hello, good evening. Yep. Okay, so today is what day is it today? Wednesday. Happy hump day. <laughs> yep. Just two more days, and it's gonna be Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one reason to get excited about the weekend. But how about you? Uh, is there something that you're looking forward to, like maybe at the end of the week or maybe Thursday or Friday? Since my um, condition mm -hmm. is not really back to um, normal condition, so uh -huh. still I need to um, take a rest more, mm. I guess. So, but... Um, this Saturday, I have a special mm. class for speech, English speech contest. Mm. There are five, <clears throat> sorry, five students mm. that are participating in that uh, competition mm -hmm. this coming November. So mm. I really need to let them practice more and more. Mm. And every day, they just record their voice and they send me through mm -hmm. cacao. But mm -hmm. I think I really need to get together and mm. they need to see, watch other people, other mm. students, how other students um, mm. manage or practice the, All right. the script or the speech. Mm. So this is the first time that I just, um, I try to... Mm -hmm. I will give it a try. Normally, I don't really, um, I don't want to work on Saturday, but mm -mm. this time, no choice. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so excited about it, but I feel like <laughs> I'm doing what I have to do. Right, oh, right? Well, well, maybe you can reward yourself after their practice. How? Oh, well, you can go ahead and buy something that you really want. Maybe some comfort food. I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah so in my case, like if I have to do something and mm -hmm. I find the day or time inconvenient, I usually reward myself with uh, a little of something. Comfort, not always comfort food, but the something many beautiful, times like. <laughs> many times like comfort food but uh sometimes um other um things oh i think mm. that's cool so i mm. should try yeah yeah and actually i started new hobby like mm. riding horse oh, oh horse riding that is awesome horseback riding mm. so i tried it um in subic I remember. Mm, right, right. It was so great. My mm. feeling so good. But right. here, I'm so busy, and then mm -mm. the um, not we don't have many of that um horseback riding places as ah. many as mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I just found it mm -hmm. some um new place near oh. my house. Oh, nice. So, very expensive and I tried it already mm -mm. Mm -mm. and uh, I decided to do it as my mm. hobby so oh and this Friday my um regular class will start All right. this Friday mm -hmm. then I will um, schedule I will um I will set the schedule like Either a weekday or weekend, I need to decide. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, the day after tomorrow, that will be first regular class. Then I will mm -hmm. decide with mm. uh, Saturday, I, I mean, no, week, on the weekend or on weekdays. Mm. Then, um, yeah, that's the thing that I'm excited about. Oh, all right. Well, this is something new that you include in your routine. Right. Mm, uh, that would be like a, a good thing because there's like um, some change. If there's some change, like um, we tend to have more energy in doing um, the rest of our um, activities in a day. Right. Mm. I normally just read books and write something mm -hmm. on my blog. That's mm. my routine. And um, But I, 
I also play the drum. Do you Mm. remember? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. stopped going going there, stopped taking Mm. the lesson anymore because of my um, master's degree course. It makes me so busy. And then, so I don't really, um, but every day I walk for an hour. I think that's not enough. That I need something really, um, something new. All right. So yes, I yes. was thinking what could be the one next one. I was thinking and thinking mm-hmm. and then, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, it, it's a good thing that you found a, a place where you can do horseback riding. Right. That, mm. it, they just opened it. I just, ah. it. I, I mm. just um, realized that. Mm-mm-mm. So, okay, why not? And I can try. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Do they bathe the um, horses very well? Hmm? Do they bathe the horses very well? Um, do the do horses? they um yeah the horses do um the caretakers give the horses good bath? You mean um caretake caretaker? Right. The one who managed the horse next to Yes, me? correct. Mm. Do they clean the horses very well? Um, yeah. It's ah, the place right. is very nice and clean. Mm-mm, and then mm-mm. I tried once, but mm-mm. um in Subic I there mm-mm. was uh I I my experience is like mm-mm. uh all the way I have to walk and uh, not walk, mm-mm. I mean um kind of walking through mm-mm. I'm on the horse. I was on the horse, but like Mm-mm. horse is walking, not like Mm-mm. running, you know. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yes, and yes, then yes. Next to me, there is a caretaker. All right. Yes, yes. And that one, I mean, he was uh, holding the rope or something like ah, that. Ah, yes. So yes. actually, it is not like uh, I am. I I am the one who handle or manage the horse, you know. Right. Right. I was just writing there mm-hmm. and then looking at some sceneries like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But in this case, um, this is a horseback riding lesson. Mm-hmm. And then it's inside and huge, really mm-hmm. huge place, but inside, mm-hmm. indoor. All and right. there's only me and the mm-hmm. uh, teacher. It's teacher or mm-hmm. coach. And then All right. background music is classical music, piano music. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. And then um, I can see outside, like all green, Mm-mm-mm. but we do it inside. And, ah. and since I, not really, but I know what to, how to handle, I mean, this way, left side, right side, or stuff. Mm-mm-mm. I know really basic um, mm-hmm. manage, management, or basic um, rules. Basic skills to basic control skills. the horse. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then he, the one, I mean, caretaker, mm-hmm. he let me um, manage the horse by myself. And I was mm. very scared, but later on, I was able to do it. And then I mm. felt so good. And then mm-hmm. I decided that I'm going to take this one as my new hobby. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that is nice. And so, like, how many hours? Um, 45 minutes oh, each okay. lesson. Then, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. And um, today, uh, why is this my repeaters? Oh, hold on. Mm-hmm. Uh, that shouldn't be my repeaters. Okay, here, 14. All right, here, question 11. Now, uh, for this one, you have like 45 seconds to prepare and then um, 60 seconds to um, speak. Um, You'll have to spend like 60 seconds because this one is about expressing an opinion. Mm -hmm. So the narration gives you the situation and the question, uh, which um, when we write it, it looks like this. Do you agree or mm. disagree with the following statement? It's more important to eat a good diet than to exercise a lot. Support mm. your choice with the reason and detail. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I need to so express my correct. Opinion. Yes, correct. Uh, about the topic and the question. Now, mm -hmm. to um, respond to the other one, we can follow a structure that looks like this. First one, we give our opinion. It means we answer the question right away. Agree or disagree? you got to answer that one right away. In this case, like, I disagree with the statement that blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, we can um, introduce supporting information. Mm -hmm. And that will also introduce your first um, key point like this. So here. Uh, oh, where is that one? Here. Uh, this one. Uh, this one introduces your um, ideas. There are several reasons for this. This kind mm -hmm. of sentence tells um, the listener, in this case, the examiner, that you are going to talk about reasons. Reasons for this um, opinion. So give your opinion and then say that you are going to support your opinion by mm -hmm. making sentences like, this. I disagree with the statement that even help for Zion has more substantial mm -hmm. benefit than what people gain from doing exercises. And there are several reasons for this opinion and then I need mm -hmm. to um, give them the example that uh, support my idea, like uh, detail. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Now we, for the Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. for the details, we can always start with the reason. So that would be your um, point one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one mm -hmm. would be like your first reason. Mm -hmm. And then you tell more about that reason. It could be an example or a situation about that reason. And then you repeat the same process. You give another reason, your point two. Mm -hmm. uh, give more details. Again, you can give an example or a situation, doesn't matter. And then you repeat that until the third. Now, some people would ask, like, do I have to give point three? Again, it depends on how much you spend um, explaining your points. So if you support your, um, for example, point one, if let's say you give details and that takes some time, then it would be okay to give um, key point one and key point two only. It means until here, because you can support, you can give a lot of details to um, support your points. But if not, then you give another point, which is point three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the last part of that one would be restating your opinion. So restating. it should, mm -hmm. yes, correct. Uh, so this one is basically like your conclusion in writing. It's like your um conclusion. Um, you say this sentence, your first one, in another sentence, but the meanings are pretty much the same. So let's see the example over here. <clears throat> Uh, first, we have here the opinion, the answer to the question. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? It's more important to eat a good diet than to exercise a lot. The last part is a restatement. Look, it says, um, in conclusion, I have to say exercise and diet are equally important. Now, it says here in the um, question, do you agree or disagree? It's more important to eat a good diet than to exercise a lot. So one is more important than the other. So if you say that you disagree, it means maybe both are equally important. Both are important. So pretty much this statement, I disagree. And this one, two are the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Now um, let's go back to the um, statements after that. So here, this one, 
introduces says that you are going to talk about reasons mm -hmm. because it says here support your choice with reasons and then uh, for the first one in this example it says for one thing it introduces the idea which is this one now And then another one, another reason. So continue with that. And then more details over here. Oh, sorry. Yes, so we have like three. One. Oh, my drawings are difficult to follow. Hold on. One. Two, where is three? Ah, oh, there you go. Finally, three. Uh -huh. Yes. So one thing and mm. another reason and finally. Yes. Okay, but just like what I've said earlier, you can remove the last one if the details that you provide for the first two points are enough. Enough. Yes. So that depends so one, on... Mm -mm. One thing and another mm. reason... Mm -hmm. If they are enough, then I could stop. Mm, yes. But I think it's not enough, then I can really uh, make a conclusion. Uh, if it's not enough, then give the I third need point. Add more and yes. add the final one. Yes, correct. Before you go to the uh, restatement of your opinion. Ah, in conclusion mm. at the last. Yes. Okay. Like that. So and can be hmm. first or second or oh yes please. of course oh mm. yes yes it could be or any of yes yes correct so um there's like a variety of words and phrases and even sentences that you can use to introduce um reasons and or explanations examples all right so down over here. Now we have another question. Uh, many people think that electric cars will solve the world, the world's pollution problems. What is your opinion on this issue? Give reasons and details to support your answer. So we have here some sentences that we can use. Mm -hmm. Now look at that one. I think that. After mm -hmm. that, you have to answer this. You got to answer that right away. Now, this one, I feel this way for several reasons. It introduces that you are going to give reasons. Then this is your, uh, another example of that. Or this one, you can choose any. I feel this way for several yes. reasons. I have this mm -hmm. opinion for the following reason. There are a number of reasons I feel this way. Yes. And I can start my With comment. the first reason, yes. For one thing and for another mm -hmm. thing. The main yes. reason, another reason that I think. Yes. Or what's that? Take that? Now, yes, these ones, you can use them to give examples when you add more details. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. And yes, blah, blah, blah. like that. So after all these ones, then you restate, I think that blah, blah, blah. Like that. So let's try answering this one. Many people think that electric cars will solve the world's pollution problems. So what do you think? What's your opinion about this? Oh. The electric cars? Mm. Um, uh, it says that it will solve the world's pollution problems. Since electric cars, I think that mm. the electric cars mm. don't really um, give up, emit. Emit, yes. The gas that... Mm. Um, that can mm. pollute mm. our air or our environment because yes. it is designed mm. as uh, eco-friendly. All right. So, eco-friendly. Friend, why do I keep missing letters? 
friendly. Eco friendly. All right. Mm. And then let's talk about reasons. <laughs> Reason. Mm. Yes. Uh, first well, one. one thing. Mm. Um, electric car. Mm. I don't know much about electric car actually. I only know it's just mm -hmm. uh, they are very expensive and mm. Mm. <laughs> they um, um, cut down the carbon dioxide. Mm, okay. Um, this is what you're you're gonna do when you give your opinion about uh this one. Mm -hmm. Do not think of because yet. You just have to restate this one, and because when you start with your reasons like this right away, it would be <laughs> difficult to give okay. more reasons. It's still possible to do it that way, but it would be more difficult because you have to be more specific. Right. So what um, you do is just um restate. Yes, uh, focus first. on restating, and then you use that one. Those what is that for a reason? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. That's the strategy. Mm, yes. So in this case, you just have to um think of like rephrasing this. Uh, for example, I think uh that. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I I think um, that uh, huh? mm, the use of um, cars that run on electricity electricity uh, can. Uh, Curb uh, can curb pollution. Pollution. Is pollu noise pollution too. Pollution issues. Oh, it's difficult to write. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, for example, you can just say it this, this way. I think um, that the use of cars that run on electricity can curb pollution errors, uh, errors, issues, <laughs> pollution errors, pollution um, issues. So focus on rephrasing this one to give your opinion. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to the reason, that is the time when you give things like this. Mm -hmm. so like I that. Think that mm. The use of cars that run mm. on electricity. Mm can cut curb or call yeah what curb. Is curb uh curb Maybe. like like solve solve yes ah, like okay. solve mm. pollution issues mm. Mm -hmm. and then i feel this way for several re reasons I feel for this one way thing for, several reasons. for one thing mm. electric cars reduce mm. um carbon Mm -hmm. uh, emission carbon emission carbon emissions all right carbon emissions mm. so that we can um protect our air pollution or i mean mm. air management. so that you can maintain air quality air quality yes yes mm. all right and for another thing, mm -hmm. it, it 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 doesn't only reduce uh, carbon emission, but also it um control. No, it re reduce. No, no more reduce. Mm. It can cut um okay. noise pollution also. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Noise pollution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So because maybe very right? high. Ah, all right, right, right. Mm. Compared okay. to digital cars. Yes, that is correct. And then you can give the reasons. Okay. No uh, that is that uh, okay. <laughs> now, like this, uh, for example, for one thing, and then for another thing. Uh, these ones are your reasons. 
Now, when you explain this one, you can do it this way, either one and then two. So that is number one, that is number two. Or you can do it this way, one, one, and then two, two. Oh. Yes, that's also possible. So you give the first one and then explain. You give the second one and then explain. So at least the two reasons and two details. Yes, so at least two because the instruction says... The reasons are plural. Yes, correct. Mm, like that. Now, to give more details, you can um, give examples, of course. Uh, you can still do this one, for example... This one becomes, oh, hold on, uh, one, and then the other one, uh, two. You can follow that pattern. So one, 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 two, 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 or one, two, three. That is just cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the, um, when you do that one, most likely you'd be able to consume at least 30 seconds responding to the question. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, the challenge here is that um, when students think um, too much, like, okay, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I going to say? <laughs> if, if you keep on asking that question, it will actually delay your response. So maybe um, the timer has already started and you are still um, uh, thinking. So one good way to avoid that one is to um, just focus when you hear the narration, listen for the main point. And then when you listen for the main, main point, you got to start constructing your opinions in your mind. Like that. Giving reasons, giving details and examples will naturally follow if you know what the topic is about, if you know what your opinion is. Uh, for example, this one says, many people think that electric cars will solve the world's pollution problems. So when you listen to that one, you should know that this one is about electric cars solving um, pollution problems. And then what is your opinion on this issue? You should come up with an, your opinion um, right away. Like, is it yes or is it no? Agree or disagree? Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. So focus on those two parts first. The explanation, the example, other details will naturally follow. Like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that also ends today's lesson on question 11. <laughs> And then uh, mm, go the ahead. Lesson, there's no sample answer mm. about this. Oh, here. This one is our um, sample answer. Yes. Like that. Um, here you will see here no, um the not about mm. electric cars. Ah, your sa the sample answer was your answer. Oh, okay. So yeah, you you already made really your own sample answer. answer. Yes, uh, that okay. is right. Okay, and that's it for today. And you can take a rest now. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm.